Hey guys, Xmas Guy here, and uh, welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been a long time since I've posted, but um, yeah, um, it snowed where I live. Uh, and uh, I rotate. Oh, uh, I can't rotate. Okay, but uh, here's all the snow. So um, yeah, it's uh, really deep. Um, I can't even find the bottom. Um, let me pause and rotate. Alright, so here is all of the snow. I drove my snowmobile last night. You can't even see the tracks. Oh, there she is. There's a pipe somewhere around here. Got to be careful of. Guys, look at this. Knee deep snow and I'm 5'8". Look. My feet, my footprints aren't even touching the bottom of the ground, and it's knee deep. All right. I'm not sure the plate. Let's get the shovel and measure this. Um, I don't feel like trucking in the yard, so um, I'm gonna measure the driveway. Uh, it's kind of hard to film and dig a hole. Deep enough in the driveway, it sticks. All right, I'm gonna measure that straight edge right there. My phone's probably not gonna be happy with me after this, but I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but that says one foot of snow, so about. It says 13 inches, so I'm going to take that as one foot. And uh, I've got that girl to uh, do the phone for us. So we're doing a cold start. But uh, if you guys are wondering why I say guys a lot, it's uh, it's just like, um, I don't know if you guys are uh, fond of Spanish or not. I need hearing protection. But, um, I don't know if you guys are good with Spanish or not, but, um, how masculine form dominates is, um, masculine form always dominates. If you have a group of five boys and five girls, masculine form dominates. So it'd be, um, ellos, which means them, ma which is the masculine form for them. Ellas is, mas is feminine form for them. So, yeah, there's my Stanley toolbox right there. <laughs> uh, let's go get the ammo. I'm gonna do a cold start. Alright, well, they're on. Not very good though, but. here now this thing works really well the tractor is an 86 and when there's snow blowing the sheet those lights don't work so you put some LED light bars on it but I don't know if you guys can see that MFG date is looks like uh, July of 70. So yeah, it's uh, got the gloves there. And it's on an 86 Cub Cadet 1872. Do a cold start. Oh yeah, did I mention this thing has uh, hydraulics? Oh. Alright, let's see if I know how to start this thing. I think 
you want to turn that thing all the way up. Oh yeah. Big old steering wheel. Oh, I gotta turn it far because there. This thing is just ran at like nine at night last night, and uh, started losing pressure out of the lines. Uh, right there. That's a hydraulic cylinder. So what that does is that it, this tractor basically has power, power steering because it uses hydraulics for the lift. So it uses the hydraulics for steering the wheel, but here's the hydraulic lift. Um, I think that that's PTO. No, this is front PTO. That's PTO. This must be choke. I don't know what that is, and there's the key. Ah. Just pinched my boot and the steering brakes there. Old start. Let's put it in neutral. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Choke us not another way. Let's try it again. Well, it wanted a fire there. It just, at the end there, it wanted a fire, but it didn't. There we go! But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this bonus right now.